Well, with hurricanes, king tides, melting glaciers, and rising seas making your home more flood resistant seems like a good idea. Amendment 1 on Tuesday's ballot would allow Florida lawmakers to make sure those improvements don't cost you extra on your property taxes. CBS 12's Amber Robb has been looking into this. She joins us tonight to explain how all of this would work. Amber? Jim, I'm here at Juneau Beach where you can see the coastal erosion. And as you mentioned, the Sunshine State is facing numerous environmental factors that are making it more likely for flooding to be more severe and more common in the years to come. Constitutional Amendment 1 aims to help taxpayers take action to protect their homes. If you own a home, your property taxes are based on its assessed value. Constitutional Amendment 1 would make it possible for lawmakers to add flood resistance improvements to a list of upgrades that won't add to your home's assessed value for tax purposes. Real estate expert Bonnie Heatzig says legislation like this is important. I think it's important for all homeowners in the state of Florida, largely because if you do make those kinds of improvements, there should be fewer claims made to the state insurance fund. Things that might be covered if the amendment passes includes improving drainage, adding gutters, and even putting your home on stilts. The details would be worked out by the legislature next session, and the timing seems about right. When rain comes, it tends to be heavier. So we're getting more extreme weather, storms, rain and droughts and heat waves. Boca Raton oceanographer and author of Moving to Higher Ground, John Englander, says environmentally conditions are getting worse, especially for low-lying areas like much of Florida. And flooding should be a growing concern across the state, not just along the coast. And they need to start thinking about flooding as storms, um, heavy rainfall events, extreme high tides, and sea level rise as well as coastal erosion. So we need to start to get a little educated and start thinking about the different kinds. Right now, home improvements to prevent wind damage and to promote renewable energy are already exempt from property tax assessment. On Tuesday, voters will head to the polls to decide whether or not they want to add flood resistance to that list. Reporting live in Juneau Beach, I'm Amber Rob, CBS 12 News.